enforce the law. That is the message to citizens from mayoral candidate Felicia Moore. The current city council president says you do not need to reinvent the law enforcement playbook to make an impact on crime. Fox Five's Morse Diggs continues his series of conversations with all the mayoral candidates about the specific steps they would deploy to decrease the violence we've been seeing. Morse joins us live with the very latest. Morse. Well, Felicia Moore is the kind of elected official now in her 23rd year who does not rely solely on information that may come from bureaucrats. She's known as showing up around town to see for herself exactly what's going on. This is an all hands on deck situation. With 23 years of political leadership, Felicia Moore has seen either new crime concerns or certainly existing problems that have grown worse. An example, the gunplay surrounding some of the Atlanta night spots, which she is currently investigating. What's happening in the nightclubs is spilling out into the neighborhoods and the communities. And so yes, you do have a responsibility. Within the first 30 days of my administration, I'm going to be meeting with all of our alcohol licensed beverage holders and let them know what the rules are. And strong enforcement requires more cops. She would direct that administrative officers come from behind their desks to help out. Spending 8 to 16 hours of your 40 hour work week out on the street so our patrol officers are free to patrol. And when police do find the criminals, Moore says the sheriff needs the city's help to lock them up. The jail facility immediately, uh, we should enter into a lease with Fulton County and allow them the 500 inmates to be able to be housed there, if not more. Well, what about other problems that are leaving so many residents fed up? The water sales and the intersections have to stop. I think more highly of our young people than to have them in harm's way in the intersection or for them to put the public in harm's way. Do you go to the gas station at night and fill up? Well, I haven't been driving a lot since we've been in the COVID environment, but yes, I would go to a gas station at night, but of course I'd be careful about that. More patrols, she believes, can help with gas station crime as well. And more thinks police will work for her if the residents vote her in as mayor. Well, first of all, I'm going to get to every roll call and talk to all the officers. I talk to many of them on a daily basis, and I want them to know that their job is to make the city safe and they are not to stand down. Now, Moore told me she has a relationship with many of the officers. I did speak to her before that violent encounter in Midtown. She followed up and put out a, a statement saying, it is another reminder of the dangers that await first responders that can happen any day. Reporting live from Zone 2 in Buckhead, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.